Hello everyone, and welcome back to our quest and dialogue system in Godot 4 and GDScript. In this video, we will start by creating our quest manager, which just like our dialogue manager, is responsible for managing our quest system. This component will be in charge of adding, updating and removing quests and objectives, as well as managing our quest UI. So let's go ahead and open up our project to get started. Let's create a new scene called Quest Manager and it should have a Node2D node as its root node. Save it underneath your scene slash quest folder. Just like we did with our dialogue manager, we will instance our quest UI in our quest manager scene. We do this because our quest manager will be the middleman between our player, NPC and the UI. Attach a new script to your quest manager scene and save it in your script slash quest folder. At the top, let's get a node reference to our quest UI node. Now, since this is our quest manager, we'll have to create the functions to get, add, remove, update, and complete our quests and objectives. Whenever we do any of these actions, we will need to find a way to notify our quest UI that our quest or objectives have been added, updated, or removed. To do this, we will have to define a few of our own custom signals. Signals in Godot act as a messaging system between nodes. I like to say signals are made out of two parts, connectors and emitters. Connectors are all of the nodes that will execute logic when an update occurs, and emitters are the nodes that will notify the connectors that an update has occurred. So, we will connect our signals to our UI nodes, so whenever an update occurs to our quest or objectives in our quest manager, our UI will be notified to show these updates. The first signal that we need to create is a signal that will notify our game that our quest has been updated. This signal needs to contain the quest ID of the quest that it wants to update as a parameter. The next signal that we need to create is a signal that will notify our game that a certain objective from a certain quest has been updated. This signal needs to take the quest and objective ID of that quest that it wants to update as the parameters. Then, the final signal that we need to create is a signal that will notify our game that our quest list has been updated, which usually occurs when we add or remove a quest.
Just like we did for our dialogues, we'll also need to create a dictionary to store all of our active quests. Okay, now we can start creating our functions, starting with the function to add a quest. This function should add a new quest to our quest dictionary and emit our quest updated signal. Next, we need to do the same for our remove quest function. This function will remove the quest from the dictionary and emit our, our quest list updated signal. To fetch a quest from our dictionary, we will simply return the quest with the correct quest ID. To update a quest, we will need to fetch our quest and then update the state of our fetched quest. If a quest is complete, we will then just remove the quest. We will also need to get the active quest, which is the quest that is currently in progress.
To complete a quest objective, we will need to get the quest and then call the complete objective function from our quest resource. We will also emit our objective updated signal. And then finally, we will add a function to show and hide our quest log. We will need to create this function in our quest UI after we call it here in our manager. Okay, so as I said, we instance a function called show hide log from our quest UI, but we haven't yet created this function. So let's go ahead and create the show hide log function in our quest UI script. The last thing that we need to do for this part is add our newly created quest manager to our player scene. We're adding it to our player scene instead of our NPC scene because it is here where we want the quest UI to show. We'll also get a node reference to it. So in our player scene, let's add our quest manager component to our scene and in our script, let's get a node reference to it. And that is where we will stop for today. In the next part, we will add the functionality to our NPC to offer a quest to our player, as well as get the quest dialog that they will need to play if they are the target of a talk to quest. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.